What is up, guys? We have our Tennessee trip going back to Tackett. Uh, September 14, 15, 16, 17, something like that. Uh, that's coming up fast. And uh, we have a lot of projects, and we're out of time. So we need to get a little work done uh, at night. Uh, probably going to get lit up by mosquitoes. It's uh, pretty humid, but uh, got to get this shit done before the trip. Once again, I am kind of finding myself in need of more storage. And once again, Kemimoto came through and uh, hooked me up with some more storage. If you're not aware, I have this 2020 Pro XP behind me here. I've got inside the cab, I've got the Kemimoto door bags, Kemimoto shoulder bag, and uh, that shoulder bag comes in clutch. I put all the camera shit in there. I put uh, my wallet, phone, uh, we usually bring koozies and stickers out on trips with us, and I keep all that in there. It works great. Uh, out back, my toolbox, uh, where I like to keep tools, obviously, is a 22-inch rigid box that I've had since since I've had the machine, pretty much. Uh, and it's worked good. It's just not enough space. So, Kemimoto sent me out this 42-quart storage box for the bed. This guy here, uh, this will fit right here in the back like that. So that has a nice clean look. Uh, I really like it. Little added storage. Uh, the install is so easy. Uh, they give you the hardware and pop it open. You get your little instructions, but uh, we really don't need them. This is easy. Then you get this little box here, which will be our anchors. Trying to open it one handed. These guys here. Uh, if you have a side by side, you're probably familiar with these. Uh, pretty standard stuff for holding stuff down in the bed so we'll try to do this one-handed but we have these holes here you can see there's more there and it uh kind of locks in under that little bar in here and then we're gonna put this in here and as we tighten it it's gonna expand this rubber into that hole to hold it in tight mine might be a little more difficult uh most machines they're just gonna slide in uh, as you can see i've had a few incidents uh, this is not a decoration. There's another one under here. My bed's a little cracked in a few places from a rollover. Uh, so I guess you could say it doesn't have the factory shape. So these might be a little harder for me to work in, but uh, we should be able to do it. Big thing with this project that I don't know, the unknown. I took a risk by uh, kind of wanting this. Uh, I'm hoping I can fit my 22 inch rigid box behind here still. This is where I normally run it. I don't know if I'm gonna have to move the sound bar in and then make risers for it, but I'm hoping I can run both boxes. That's the goal here. Uh, if not, uh, Kemimoto does make another box that is shaped like this, that's a little taller, and it fits in this empty space here. Uh, so you can run both of those for sure, but I'm I'm hoping I can run my rigid box behind this. So I'm gonna have to put the camera down to get these anchors in. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, uh, it's installed. Uh, I don't know the order of how these videos are gonna come out, but uh, if you watch all our videos, eventually you'll know what I'm talking about. This is the second time today, uh, we're shooting two videos today, uh, that I sat here talking to the camera and uh doing something and then it just shuts off and i'm like oh what the hell is it hot i mean it is hot out but this camera in particular doesn't really overheat like a gopro um and once again i thought i was hitting record and i took a photo <laughs> resting him a little bit and then the, the so i was just sitting there talking to nothing so uh you missed the install which was pretty much nothing 
I don't know why I'm having such problems today. Uh, I made a lot of videos already with this camera, and uh, this is the first day this is happening. Ah, uh, so we have the anchors in. They just go through the hole, very similar to this hole. Uh, where is it? And yeah, you can see that blue. That's the other side. It just expands. Uh, but we have both sides in. And they're tight. I mean, the box is in there. It ain't moving. Latches are real nice. Uh, when you open her up, you can see here there's weather stripping. So this is weather resistant. Uh, maybe we will uh, test that a little bit. Throw some water on her and see if it stays dry. But... I like it. You can fit a lot of crap in here. Uh, I mean, use your imagination. Okay, well maybe that one doesn't fit. So I mean, that's just some random crap. not even organized uh, we could probably take Steph's entire Kemimoto shoulder bag and still fit it in there no problem I know it's hard to judge spaces like this on camera but uh, it is a good size that's what she said so this is gonna work out great this is probably not what I'm gonna have loaded in there because I am wearing the, the matching shoe to this. I need that back. I'm sure there's sharp things all over my garage floor. Maybe you're like, Jeremy, I don't bring tools. Uh, I bring other stuff on the trails and you know what? Those are little tools. They're uh, no big deal. Well, if you want, you could even bring a whole ass HP Photo Smart printer. I guess now, after my demonstrations, uh, throwing tools into it and at it, um, it's a durable box. Uh, it seems, seems sturdy. Uh, you know, only time will really tell, but uh, initial impressions are it's uh, it's gonna be pretty strong. All right, let's see if my plan's gonna work with that other toolbox. Okay, well, it fits in, but. Even if I got it to mount, which I don't think I will, I'm never going to get to these latches. And, yeah, my plan did not work. Enough space, uh, just not enough to actually make it a working toolbox. So this is a bummer. No fault to Kemimoto, this is my fault. Uh, I knew the measurements for the rigid. I knew the measurements for the Kemimoto box, and I just didn't measure. So at some point, maybe I'll have to get the other Kemimoto box like this that fits in that hole. We'll fast forward to tomorrow when it's light out and we can be outside, and uh, we'll spray it with some water and, uh, you know, see how uh, weather tight it is. Tomorrow for sure. All right, we have daylight. We can uh, test out the weatherproofness of this now. So. These things are awesome, by the way, guys. So we're gonna add a few of my most prized possessions. My printer. A blown ball joint. Close her up. Oh no, it's raining.
I didn't expect it to storm. Uh, and it's dry inside. Uh, there's some water around it, but obviously it's going to drip down. Uh, I don't know how weatherproof it is. I think they label it as weather resistant. And uh, yeah, you can see that here. My uh, my printer is dry. Thank goodness. Same thing with my ball joint. I'm not even sure at this point what video this uh, this part is going to show up in. Uh, we got a lot of projects going on, kind of shooting multiple videos all at once. Uh, in that final little mad scramble. Uh, we're going to Wisconsin in a couple days and then uh, Tennessee in a few weeks and uh, you know as usual at least one machine's not ready if you're new to the channel uh, I run into things a lot if you're not new and you watch our riding videos you probably already know this but uh, you know I back into things constantly and if you're not aware I have the 2020 Pro XP Sport, which means I don't have ride command, I don't have any cameras, and uh, like I'm not kidding. <laughs> any day, especially places like Tennessee, we go out riding, uh, I back into at least one tree. Uh, I've backed into three trees in the same 100 foot section of trail before. Uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, I also can't see that great out of my mirrors. And uh, that kind of, I guess, causes me not to watch them as much as I should because I already can't see. So uh, we're going to take care of that. I got something that's going to hopefully help with both of those issues. I threw on this Amazon special backup camera. It's just like a little Wi-Fi job where it puts off a Wi-Fi signal to a tablet and uh, then I can see out the back. It was a pretty simple install, power and a ground, and then I had to make this little bracket just out of a chunk of aluminum and hardware I had laying around. Did like a 90 bend and then a little extra to kind of point the camera down some. It does have some adjustments, but uh, that's as far down as I could get it to angle, so I bent the bracket, but I mean, it seems to be in there pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look terrible uh i got this really classy stainless hardware and these i don't know what kind of washer that would be but uh i think i've seen worse it's actually it's probably hard to tell but the big dip right here that's a tree you can kind of see it in the aluminum there is all mangled uh this big crack is from a tree Everything in the back mostly is from a tree. And if it's not from a tree, it's from when I rolled. But uh, I back into a lot of trees. Turn this pig on. So as you can see, I got split screen going. Uh, this is a Samsung Tab A8. Uh, this is pretty simple. You don't. Add, it says Wi-Fi, but you don't need a Wi-Fi connection. As you can see, I got nothing. And... Uh, you're just hooking up to the camera, which puts off a signal once it has power. And I have it on keyed on power. And there it is. So backup camera, maps in the split screen. So this is going to work out awesome. Uh, they're both a little smaller, but I think we can manage. The backup camera is pretty important to me. Uh, not that I care about the body panels. It's just annoying hitting trees and getting myself in shitty situations. Uh, this will also be nicer for backing up out of sketchy spots in places like Tennessee. Uh, so pretty excited about this and I'll be able to see the group behind me. Some people, actually like myself, are going to wonder about lag. Uh, I'm not sure. I've only turned it on to make sure it works. I haven't actually like move the machine yet so I guess we'll give it a try
Well, at least moving slowly, uh, there's not much of a lag. So, I think it's going to be okay. It's going to do what I need it to do. I'm not going to really try to depend on it. It's a, it's an aid. It's a crutch. It's a little helper. So, I'll be able to really kind of get a better idea on how that's going to work. Maybe I still need to make adjustments on where I have it aiming. Uh, I'm going to test that out in Wisconsin this weekend. So we'll see how that goes. I'm sure this part of the video is in with something else that I'm doing uh, to prep one of the machines for Tennessee. So thank you guys so much for watching what we did before this and then what we just did uh, and just watching in general. We, uh, we really appreciate that. And uh, if you like what we're doing, hit that little subscribe button, like the videos, uh, comment on the videos, share the videos uh, all that stuff helps us grow and that's what we're trying to do uh, we just want to continue to do bigger and better things and uh, yeah that's gonna be it for this one uh, we'll catch you on the next one peace oops my bad <laughs>